Good morning. We just finished this project. It's a very special one to me. My father did this kitchen originally 25 years ago. Let me show you what I did to the kitchen. I changed the location of the main sink and I put it into an island. I removed the two walls that were here, opened it up to the dining room. I used a bar sink section over here and I reduced the depth so that I could have some room here between the island and the butler's pantry. I added the wall cabinets up to the ceiling with some lights. I took out the soffit that was here and I added a wall of appliances. Here we have this beautiful French oven. It hasn't been used yet, so it still looks really good. We also have a warming drawer, a pantry. Then for the cooking, I have a professional gas cooktop. And then directly behind it, I have a pot filler. This is a great feature for those who are cooks in the kitchen. Underneath it, I have the nice deep drawers for pots and pans. And then on each side of the cooktop, I have the pull-out spice units. Then on each side, I did a symmetrical cabinet, which has rollouts on each side of the cabinets. Everything is a soft close in the top and in the bottom. In the original kitchen, this area was a desk. But now that the homeowner's children are all grown up, we decided to add a very large refrigerator, a wine tower, and a broom closet. Now in the island, I have this great steam oven, convection oven from GE Monogram. I also have a beautiful double Kohler sink, Kohler faucet, but you know what everybody loves about this kitchen? Is this button right here. It's the garbage disposal. Don't ask me why everybody comes here and wants to know what that button is. Go figure. Anyway. Now in this section, as I told you before, I kind of created a butler's pantry. I reduced the depth of the cabinets in order to allow for some tall units, but still have some counter. I added a bar sink, but what I love about this area, you see these drawers? This is a false drawer, and then it's a door. Isn't that great? So how long ago did you do your original kitchen with my father? We moved in the house in 1986, completely gutted everything. So it's been over 30 years. Ah, yeah. 30 years. I didn't know it was that long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. And so what brought you back to Trimline? Well, I had wanted to move. My husband didn't want to move. So I said, okay, then we're going to update. And there was nothing wrong with the kitchen. It was still beautiful. The cabinets were beautiful. They were solid cherry. They were still in perfect condition, but it was just time to update. And I had such a good experience before. Um, I don't like to really go to a lot of different places and shop around because then I get very confused and I just went to where I knew I would be happy. Yeah, yeah. So we're <laughs> glad you came, that's for sure. So what's your favorite feature in the kitchen? Well, my French door oven. Oh, yes. <laughs> So um, it opens like this. So I've had a, uh, I had a wall unit before and I was gonna go back to a regular oven until I started looking at them. Uh -huh. And I'm getting older, I ha you have to bend down and the major cooking I do is on holidays and I didn't wanna have to be lifting a turkey out. Right. So the whole kitchen then was sort of so built around, around my French door it oven. It is beautiful. <laughs> Well, so, I'm, and it's still clean. I know. I know. Well, we're happy you today. Right, right, right. Well, I thank you for letting uh -oh. me and allowing Trimline to do your kitchen again. And uh, I hope that uh, you have it, a very nice, happy life here in your thank kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. Well, I'm very happy how this kitchen turned out, and I think my father would be too. I'm thankful for the clients that he has given me through the years, and especially this particular one. Enjoy the video and please visit my website, www.trimlinedesign.com. Thank you.